Uh, next uh, is uh, a perforated duodenal ulcer, a very high yield, and uh, it's V34. 55 year old lady is seen in ED with heartburn after starting NSAIDs and steroids one week ago to manage flare up of rheumatoid arthritis. She complains of sudden onset epigastric pain that has been getting progressively worse over the past 36 hours and erect chest radiograph has does not reveal any free intra-abdominal air under the diaphragm. Despite this, you strongly suspect she has a perforated peptic ulcer. How accurate are plain radiograph in detecting pneumoperitoneum? It can be possible to detect 1 ml of free air on an erect chest radiograph or decubitus view. The absence of subdiaphragmatic air on erect chest x-ray does not exclude hollow viscous perforation in approximately 10 to 30 percent of the cases free gas is not demonstrated on the erect chest x-ray a ct scan of the oral and iv contrast needed to make a diagnosis and to exclude the pancreatitis and other differential diagnosis the ct scan showed a thickened duodenum with locules of free gas and a collection in the right ileic fossa confirming your suspicion of perforated duodenal ulcer how would you proceed the patient needs cessation with IVIs, antibiotics, analgesia, PPIs, catheter, NG. And if patient is fit, uh, healthy with clinical and preventative surgery is performed, preferred treatment option. And if uh, surgeon is uh, capable, uh, laparoscopic, uh, laparoscopic uh, surgical repair is preferred. But if patient is septic, medically unfit, hypertensive, would find it difficult to tolerate the laparoscopic because of the carbon dioxide creation, pneumatic creation that can drop the blood pressure. In that case, upper midline laparotomy is recommended. How will you repair the ulcer? So if ulcer is less than 0 0.5, we can repair it laparoscopically or open. So it's interrupted primary cloyer with an absorbable suture should be performed with a superimposed or mental patch. If there were no momentum, then falciform ligament can be used. Then thorough lavage and eradication of betel soling is a vital part of the surgical management in all cases of perforated peptic ulcer. And larger ulcers are not considered appropriate for lap repair. Meta analysis showed that uh, lap repair showed less post pain and fewer wound infection after lap repair than the open one. At the time of surgery, you find a large friable perforated ulcer that is too large to close with the patch. What are your options? A young fit man with large travel perforated ulcer in the first part of should be considered for a distal gastrectomy with raw room Y gastrojejunostomy reconstruction. If distal gastrectomy is not appropriate due to patient or surgeon factor, an alternative is to fire a stepper proximal to the ulcer to exclude the area from the gastric contents and close the perforated perforation over a foley catheter to create a controlled fistula and a gastrojejunostomy will then need to be constructed to establish gastrointestinal continuity. If the patient was an extremist and damage limitation surgery needed, simply closing the defect with a foley catheter with pearl string suture to create a controlled fistula is another option. How you find a perforated gastric ulcer at laparoscopy, how will you close it? Primary cloyer with a mental patch is still appropriate, however biopsies must be taken to exclude malignancy and definitive radical section of the stomach should be delayed until biopsies prove malignancy. The patient has been staged and they have been discussed in MDT. Is there any role of conservative management for a perforated ulcer? Yes. If the patient is clinically well with no evidence of hemodynamic instability or peritonitis and oral contrast study does not show active contrast leak, then non-operative management is good. But there's only one exclusion criteria. If patient is more than 70 years old, then non-operative management is not recommended. The patient should be placed nail by mouth with a trigostic tube on a free drainage and started on IV antibiotics and a proton proton inhibitor. Interabdominal collection may need radiological drainage. Thank you.